I trained as a goldsmith for three years in college because I always knew that I wanted to work mm. with my hands and that I wanted to create mm. things, but I didn't really know how. I couldn't really see myself working as a goldsmith. Mm. But then I had work experience with a silversmith artist that worked with more like large pieces. And I was like, wow, oh, that's possible too. And like, it's kind of like this reality opened up to me. At the university, it was not material based at all. It was more about ideas. And I think that's what intrigued me. We had a project where we had to go to a museum to pick an object that interested us. And I found this uh, conch with a brass tube connected to it and it said wind instrument and I thought oh that's really cool because it's something that you can just hold up in the wind and it would make sound so I started to think about how you could make sound when your body just to be in the environment in the end I understood that it is like a trumpet that you have to <laughs> have to play in a way so it started by misunderstanding it. I mainly work with uh, idea-based projects at the moment I'm working with some making pieces of jewellery and wearable objects. This wood is a nice material to work with in the ways of shaping it and fitting pieces together. And also that I could colour it. I also like the bright colours because they are quite significant and stand out more. I have to work out the pieces that fit together, but then I will always have pieces that are left and I'm saving those to be able to make experiments with. Things that I find intriguing and, and playful in a way, like marble and different kinds of elastics or playful sound making things, slinkies that can move or anything that can trigger movement really. And I'm interested in how jewellery as a symbol and something that you wear can either trigger curiosity so that you kind of have a, a way of communicating with people that you maybe wouldn't so it's a surprise moment to my work things are moving and making sounds in ways you might not expect it to do if you sit on the tube for example or you're in a public space and you have all these people around you it might be super interesting but you don't talk to them <laughs> and how would it be if you had playful things that if you would see something that was really intriguing you that much that you would walk up to that person and like oh what is that and maybe you touch something and it makes a noise and you have a laugh and then it's kind of an opening to your communication. You don't know who someone is on the surface. You would need to get to know that person through something. And how can you do that without getting introduced in some way? And then I think this playfulness could be a way of introducing just maybe by starting by a laugh. They were like, oh, what's that? And you're allowed to have a laugh. Humans always interested me. Yeah, the way of thinking and everything. Also how the sound can affect you. Like the reactions I've been seeing in some people when they experience this sound, for instance. People say that it's really relaxing and uh, I got a lot of feedback that I might be able to work with disabled people or children and use the sound as a therapeutic way. And I'm really interested to develop that because you're really in control of the sound as it's connected to your movement of your body. And also as you have things so close to your body it will vibrate I think it will have effects on you more than just being a playful thing so that's something that I really want to explore it would be lovely to make something that could help someone in some way or that could be used as more than a decoration I get inspired by the place I am at at the moment so I think that in my coming work it will be seen that I live in the countryside now and not in the city I try to use the typical color of the houses around Dalarna, which is a district in Sweden. They make this paint out of the byproduct from a copper mine. So they use the red one and the black and gray. So I'm using that in my work, but trying to spin off ideas that could be a collection for this area. I started to draw this sketchman really quickly and just put objects on him. I started to make him in wires so that I could put hats on him, for example, and try to photograph him in perspective that he would look as big as humans around him so that he could be like part of the public space. I don't know, I can't get away from him really, so I thought he's a good logo. <laughs> I think it's nice in that playful way because you can just try out things quickly and I just, I don't know, he's my companion, I guess. <laughs>